Hello everybody, and welcome back to putting things in the vacuum chamber for 24 hours and seeing what happens. Today, we have something a bit more exciting. We have an entire head of iceberg lettuce. Uh, I actually got this like last week, and it's been sitting in my fridge, taking up space, and now it is going in the vacuum chamber for 24 hours. Um, there's a lot of moisture in this. It feels like it has air spaces. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what'll happen to it. If I have to make a, make a guess, I would say the outer leaves will probably dry, but the interior will be unaffected. That is my that is my hypothesis, and um, well, we're gonna go with that. So yeah, let's just put that into the vacuum chamber. I'm gonna put it onto its side a little bit so the stem isn't really covered. Oh. All right, let's get the lid on and ugh, go from there. Now, the lettuce takes up a lot of the view. If I hold it back, there's reflections on the glass, so I kind of have to just do this. And uh, yeah, all right, let's close off the valve, check the seal, seal is good, pump is ready to go. Let's turn it on and see what happens. We are at 26.5, and as I suspected, the pump is struggling. There is a lot of moisture coming off this. Well, that's about as far down as I'm going to get it. It's, yeah, just above 27. So, yeah, that's going to be it. All right, I will come back and check on this periodically to turn the pump back on, because there's probably going to be a lot of moisture coming out of this. And uh, we'll see what, see what happens after 24 hours. It has been 24 hours, and there is a lot of moisture in the chamber. And the pressure has increased quite a bit. Like, we're up above 25, around 24. Uh, I might turn the pump on for, like, 15 minutes, just to see if I can get all this out. Uh, <laughs> I was going to uh, pump it out earlier, but my printer was going because I'm printing off uh, orders, so I couldn't. So, yeah, just give me 15 minutes. Okay, it actually took only about 5 minutes to get back down to 26.5, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's still a fair bit of condensation on the, like, inside of the chamber, which tells me that the uh, atmosphere in here is mostly water, because I pulled out most of it into a, a, a medium vacuum, and then have been pulling it out a couple of times, letting the uh, lettuce outgas. So, yeah, we have a thin, mostly water atmosphere, and that is fascinating. So let's, uh, let's repressurize and pull it out. I probably should have left this in for like a week. I, like this is the kind of material that would be really cool to be, you know, vacuumed for a week because it would dry out a lot. But now nah, we're doing 24 hours right now. Maybe I'll do a week later. But here we go. Oh yeah. The air that went in was drier because a lot of the condensation went away. Which is interesting because the uh, the last time I did one with a lot of moisture in it, it actually condensed uh, on the inside when I opened it up. Alright then, let's, uh, well, let's bring it out and investigate. My, it smells like iceberg lettuce. Who would have guessed? Wow, the gasket was really stuck. Wow, that is very strongly of iceberg lettuce. Okay, let's line that back up, closer to the table. Eh, whatever. Um, well, it it feels interesting. 
it, it feels like it's been wilted, to be perfectly honest. Actually, that, that leaf does feel dry. Like... Yeah, it feels like rubber. And not in the usual iceberg way. Put the glove back on, so I can really dig into this. I'm fairly certain that inside it'll be more... more lettuce. Wow, this smells very strongly of iceberg lettuce, which... You know, I like lettuce, so it actually, to me, it smells good, but it's very earthy, very plant-like. I need to reassess how I do this, because I'm currently bent over the camera. There's a lot of condensation here. Yeah, it still just smells like lettuce. I also put a, a little thing over the lapel mic and moved it a little bit further away. Because I noticed when I was editing the last video that the mic was picking up too many other sounds, like the sounds of me breathing, and I wasn't okay with that. Yeah, it's just been wilted and dried, but otherwise it's fairly okay. Huh. I can probably still use this for something. Uh, I don't know if I'll eat it because it's been sitting unrefrigerated in a vacuum chamber for 24 hours, but... uh. I will for sure compost the wilted bits, and I'll probably give the rest to whomever in my yard wants it. Because I always give food waste to the animals that live out there, usually the corvids, the, bird, the other birds, the squirrels, the ants, there's a skunk, just anybody who wants it. So, it will not go to waste. Well, that was actually interesting. I'm, uh, I'm surprised at how well... I'm surprised at how much water condensed inside the chamber, but um, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have ideas for other things to put in there, let me know. I'll probably do tofu next, because that's another moist one. Uh, maybe marshma mini marshmallows. Huh.